Tesla is no longer a car manufacturer. This is an incredible tech company committed to contributing to the development of superintelligent, artificial intelligence, universal humanoid robots, and a bright future with abundance for all. Tesla Investor Day 2023 was recently held, where Elon Musk spoke about the future of the company, new Tesla developments including new robots, as well as the Optimus robot, showed Cybertruck, and also spoke about the development of his artificial intelligence for Teslabot. In this video, we have gathered for you all the latest news and projects of Elon Musk. You are on the Karo Show channel. Enjoy watching. The real star of the presentation was Teslabot. Only he was not present in person, but a video was shown where a pair of humanoid robots, Optimus, slowly collected their third brother. Prototype is definitely more capable than the one that was presented at Tesla AA Day last September. And yet the video caused a lot of controversy among the general public. Users of the site suspected the company of cheating and editing. At the presentation, Musk habitually said that Optimus will cost much more than the company's auto business. He also stated that the robot is trained with the artificial intelligence of Tesla's autopilot, and most of its equipment is taken from the car or designed by the same engineers. Musk described the progress in the development of humanoid robots as moderately fast, calling not to compare its pace to the development of Boston Dynamics robots. At the same time, the entrepreneur is confident that as soon as the robot will be ready, he will be able to launch it into series and in the future the ratio of people to robots will be more than one to one. This versatile humanoid can be used at home, at businesses, or anywhere else. As for other interesting projects of Elon Musk, his plans to improve the competitiveness of humanity by expanding its capabilities with neural chips, linking the brain to the internet, have so far failed. The US regulatory authorities have refused to test the Neuralink chip on humans. According to the officials, it is too dangerous. So the company was pointed out to dozens of problems that need to be fixed before the device is connected to the human brain. The main safety concerns relate to the device's lithium battery the likelihood of tiny chip wires migrating into other areas of the brain, as well as questions about the ability to remove the device without injuring brain tissue. At the same time, all information is conventionally reliable, as neither Musk nor Neuralink representatives give official comments. Many believe that Neuralink's problems are directly related to Musk himself, namely his leadership style. When extremely complex problems must be solved in a terrifyingly short period of time, Meanwhile, competitors are stepping on the company's toes. For example, Synchron has already received approval for human testing. Its brain-computer interface implant does not require brain surgery, but allows paralyzed people to type on a computer with their thoughts. Recall that despite plans to store computer memory and put people with spinal cord injuries on their feet, Neuralink's first goal was also to print text on various devices. Also, Musk decided to fight the development of the GPT in the traditional way, to create his own company for the development of artificial intelligence. The XAI company has already been registered, thousands of GPUs for training the generative model have been purchased. It remains to find additional investment and developers. Experts believe that the new name reflects Musk's desire to make the application as multifunctional as the Chinese WeChat. It can be used for making payments, ordering a car, delivering food, and many other services. Others speculate that X-Corporated will become the parent company for Musk's other projects, particularly that of XAI and SpaceX. Let's go back to Tesla Investor Day 2023, where the pre-production beta prototype of the Cybertruck was also on display, in addition to the robot. And it was physically present and in the public domain. Visitors were able to look not only at the body with a glass roof, but also on the interior. Simplified design and panel layout, like in other electric cars of the brand, are complemented by an updated steering wheel. It is also reported that the rear seats are foldable and passengers will have their own screen there. Exactly whether this is the final design is unknown, with the assembly of the electric pickup scheduled for 2023 and a full launch in 2024. Let's remember that SpaceX did launch the Starship spacecraft into a suborbital flight. According to the plan, the rocket was to make an incomplete loop around the Earth and land in the Pacific Ocean at 200 kilometers, 124 miles from the Hawaiian Islands. According to preliminary calculations, 
The flight should have taken about an hour and a half. The takeoff was successful, but during the separation of the first stage, there were technical problems and the ship exploded. Despite the fact that earlier, Elon Musk said that it would be crazy if the first flight of the Starship was successful, and that he only hopes that the ship does not explode right at the launch pad, the entrepreneur looked sad at the control center. Now SpaceX will study the flight data and work out the bugs before the next launch, which we all hope will take place in the next couple of months. Are you waiting for the launch of the new Starship rocket? Write your opinion in the comments. Back to Elon Musk's announced plans at Tesla Investors Day 2023, which were to convince investors that the company's long-standing goal of 20 million electric cars a year would be achieved by 2030. In 2022, Tesla produced just under 1,400,000 cars. That means the company needs to increase its production by nearly 15 times. Musk states that he does not see a problem with this. It is only necessary to further develop vertical integration, build new plants, scale up the existing ones and increase productivity at them. The entrepreneur also plans to increase the number of models to 10. Interestingly, if you look at the chronology, it took Tesla 12 years to produce the first million cars, 18 months for the second million, 11 months for the third million, and less than seven months for the fourth. Continuing the theme of ramping up production, one of the biggest news from Tesla Investor Day 2023 was the confirmation of the construction of the company's next plant in Mexico. The new factory will cost the company $5 billion in the first phase, and then it is expected to scale up to a total of $10 billion. The plant with a declared capacity of 1 million cars a year will be the largest in the world, occupying an area of 17 square kilometers. Construction of the facility will begin in the coming months. Let's move on to other robotics news. Naver Labs, together with researchers from the Robot Laboratory of the Korean University, is conducting a study aimed at teaching robots natural human movements. To do this, engineers have developed a special robot whose joint structure is similar to that of a human. The idea is that when robots become commonplace in our homes, they would be as close to their owners as possible, including the robot's emotional perception. Recently, a drone over a Tesla plant in Texas filmed a Cybertruck with a huge wiper on the windshield. Serial production of the electric pickup should begin this year, so perhaps this is the final or at least pre-final version. The janitor looks rather strange, but it certainly performs its function. How do you like this kind of Cybertruck? Write your opinion in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Write in the comments which of Elon Musk's projects did you like the most. Subscribe to the Karo Show channel and watch our previous videos. Goodbye.